started in 1987 as a haven for sexually abused children. The need grew, and so did the Baltimore Child Abuse Center. And now they do everything from help police with investigations to community prevention. But the most important thing they do is help the more than 1,000 children they see each year. And that number is about to double because of a new law. 11 News Megan Pringle explains how they hope to make a tough place more pleasant. The tables are empty and the toys are untouched. But the sad reality is more children than ever are coming to the Child Abuse Center for help. House Bill 306 passed this year, which had it be a crime for a child to be witness to violence. Someone's got to interview those kids. And uh, those kids are going to be interviewed here in the city as well. That ends up being about another 800 to 1,000 kids a year, doubling our capacity. That's one of the reasons the center is making more room. They have a lot of demands, including a medical staff on site. The Baltimore Child Abuse Center treats children of sexual abuse, a painful topic, and they know they can provide a better space for the young victims they serve. The experience the child has isn't as warm and inviting as it should be. And our philosophy has always been how do we minimize trauma for everyone who comes through here and let children get back to the act of being a child. For example, when you walk in, there's a large blank wall, and they see it as an empty canvas. There's potential here that could make things brighter for kids during their darkest time. I think dream case scenario is you step off the elevator and there's a lot of color and there's just a, a, a mural or a mosaic that invites people in and, and makes, gives kids something else to look at other than worrying about and thinking about what's about to happen now. The Baltimore Child Abuse Center is a nonprofit, so the bottom line, they would rather spend their money on children's services than covering these blank walls. So the hope is that an artist will donate their talents or maybe even a corporation will help kick in. In Charles Village, Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News.